Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3758 in Candy Crush Saga. It has a special dedication to Mind and Beauty, who has pointed out that this level has changed considerably since the last time I played. So we used to have 20 moves, we now have 13. We used to not have licorice locks, now we do. Uh, and it also used to be listed as a super hard level, and I said it should be classified as a nightmarishly hard level, and it's now listed as a normal level. Is there anything that has been an advantage in this new iteration? And the answer is yes. We used to have five colors on the board. We used to have red candies as well, and now we only have four. Is it enough to make up the difference for all of these things? I'm not sure, because in 13 moves, we have to collect 20 licorice and pop four popcorn. And the licorice is hard to get on the board, let alone to collect, especially when we've got a lot of things in the way. Now, the other thing is with the popcorn, most of us have now converted over to, they've changed the look of the popcorn and it's a black square here with pink squiggles in it. It's called the licorice shell. It plays absolutely the same. I don't know why on this particular computer, it's still showing up as popcorn. Uh, on my computer upstairs, it's showing up as licorice shells even though I play the same way on the same profile. But anyway, um, so yeah, we have to get through there. I'm mostly concerned about the licorice. We've got dark chocolate on the board. Right now it can grow over here. It can't grow upward because it's already three layers thick. I have the feeling I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. So just like Mind and Beauty, I, I may find this difficult. I won't be surprised. I'll actually be surprised if it's otherwise. Because right now I just have to get something to get through all of this mess and I don't have options. I can do this or I can do this. I can move the blue and that's really it. Now I can get through the licorice lock because it's binding up the um, candies, which are colors instead of binding up like a licorice swirl. I can actually make matches to get through here. So we're starting to hit that popcorn already. I can do this. Let me see if that's the best choice. I don't see anything better. And it will hit that chocolate, so it'll keep that from growing a little bit. Now the question is, can I get a blue right here? It's not very likely. I could try, but it would take several turns, and I don't have several turns. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, I can't even get a purchase on this level. I can't get a bite into this. So trying to get 20 licorice, because the deal with licorice is they're very similar to chocolate. If I take out licorice on a turn, no new licorice can form. And if I don't remove licorice, that's when new licorice can drop. But by the time I get down here, you know, I, I made this nice, beautiful striped wrapped combo. Will it hit the popcorn instead of hitting the licorice? And by the time I get down here, there's just going to be nothing left. No turns really left to do much of anything. I'm going to go ahead and just take out a color and concentrate things down and at least try to get through here. It's not working, is it? So this is one of those levels where I just plan to be stuck for a while. It's a sad thing, but it happens on some levels until we get some luck. Now, do we need luck on this board? My opinion is yes, we definitely need luck on the board. Is luck what's going to get us there? No. We're going to need a combination of luck and strategy. We're going to have to understand the elements of the board and combine it with luck. If we just have luck, I can take a lucky board and ruin it by playing poorly. So here's my intention at the outset, since I think I'll be stuck here for a while. I'm going to keep playing until I get a somewhat decent board that allows me to show you how to get down here at least. And then if I do that but I still don't win, then I'll play without sound to preserve my throat, my voice. And uh, until I get enough luck and combine it with that skill in order to get things done. I want to keep going until I get something here though because I need to show you how to use the strategy in combination with the luck. So I'll be right back, hopefully, with a better board. Well, this is definitely a better board. I get a color bomb right away. Oh, my goodness. Now, see, look at the difference between just one playthrough and the very next playthrough and what amazing things can happen. I'm not going to go ahead and take a color out right now. I think I'd be better served at making some specials here. And there we go. We're taking out a bit of licorice, so that's nice. 
Uh, let's see if we can pop through here, and then if we can, let's hope that the chocolate doesn't grow and attack us. Now I have to figure out the very best move possible, and I don't have any great moves, and it is unlikely that I'll be able to get this paired up with anything. So I think at this point in time I should take out either purple or blue. I'm going to take out blue because I've got a blue next to a chocolate, and I've got some blue wrapped up here. So let's do that and see if that helps, because it concentrates the colors. And so it gives us a better shot at making more matches and specials. Uh, decisions. Should I do this and get a color bomb? Or I think I'm just going to take out a bit of chocolate here and see what else comes together. See, I like this better. And then I took out another um, color, so I concentrated the colors down right away. That gives me this opportunity again. But look at how difficult it is to get to that licorice. We're still not hitting that licorice, and that gives me a big concern here. And I don't have any great moves. I'm going to do this because I think I can set up a stripe here with the orange. And let's take this, and now we're hitting that licorice, but not strongly. I'd love to get that set up with something. But even if I'm able to do that, I don't have a whole lot of turns left. So even with luck, it's not sufficient. Did things go better for me this time around? Definitely. Is it enough to get it done? No, I didn't get the right amount of luck in the right uh, you know, places at the right times. I was still left with two popcorn needed, needing to be popped and 12 licorice needing to be collected. Yeah, it's going to be really tough. I think if I'm going to be able to get to that licorice, I'm going to need to clear out all of this. So I'm going to need to be able to get a color bomb matched with a wrapped candy. Now, should I have waited and tried to put one of those color bombs with the wrapped candy? I don't think it would have helped much. I think it has to naturally occur. It has to be part of that luck process because it would take too many turns to try to construct that. And because we only have four colors on the board, even if we try to construct it, things can kind of blow up and ruin our plans. So I'm going to proceed with this strategy, but without the microphone, until there's something important that I need to report to you. Be right back. All right, I'm going to leave this instructive even if I don't win. This is a great setup for me here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use this, and it's going to clear out the licorice, and hopefully it's going to bring more down. It's not bringing any more down because we have already taken some out. But it does create a nice upset on the board. I still have popcorn that needs to be popped, though, and I still have licorice that needs to come down, but we're getting closer with the licorice, so this shows that that portion of the, the mystery, the puzzle, can be done. All right, this is looking pretty good. I've got three of these on the board. I've got this over here. I don't need to use these. I just need to pop the popcorn or get rid of the licorice shell. So what can I do to make that happen? Oh, I don't think I've got it here, folks. So I can take out blue or I can take out orange. If I take out blue, this drops down one, not two. If I take down orange, this drops down one, not two. But I've got more orange down here. 
So, and I don't see any other opportunity here. So let's go ahead and go with this and see what happens. There, we got it struck, but we didn't get enough of those licorice. We had enough on the board. So, and this was just my fourth playthrough. So getting closer all the time, it is possible. Now I have hope. I was a little bit worried about that licorice. That wrapped, wrapped candy was really beneficial. I'm a little bit upset with myself that I didn't take even more time evaluating each move while I was down here, while I had the luck. That's really significant. Evaluate each and every move on the board every time you play, but especially when you see that you've got some luck going. All right, I'm going to pause the recording, come back again without the mic, and come back on when there's something hopefully really good to say. Be back. Okay, so that's a great way to start out, getting a color bomb, color bomb combo. So I'm a bit more hopeful on this board than I am on any other. So this time I'm really going to pay attention to each and every move. Is it best to make a color bomb? I think so, even though it means the chocolate is going to be able to grow. I also need a chance for this licorice to kind of replenish itself. And now I do think making a, an orange wrapped combo is worth kind of stalling and making an extra move to get this to happen. I don't have a lot of orange up here, but I have enough to help. And I have some orange down here, which I think is going to be monumentally helpful in clearing some things out here. Sometimes it's hard because the best move isn't always a great move. It's just the best one we have available. Now I've recently taken out orange, but I could take out orange again because that was an orange wrapped combo. And so everything was uh, you know, kind of replenished on the board. I could also take out blue. I could take out green. I think I'm going to go for... Oh, it's a tough call here. Orange would take out this. Blue would take out this. It doesn't take out the licorice, but I've got more orange down here. And I want to make more of an impact down here. I have to keep making things happen in this realm. Oh, this one's nice though. I do this and I leave that licorice alone a bit. <sighs> We've got to get that popcorn out of the way. Okay, so here I'm going to take out all blue from the board and concentrate things down. See if that gives me something over here. Not yet. I'm going to take out all orange. It's going to make a stripe here. I know that's not fantastic. I could do this wrapped candy, but I also need to focus on this. And I think taking out the orange will take out the licorice for me. There we go. Got it. Okay, so very tense, even though it was close uh, on, you know, quite a few times here of, you know, knowing which, sorry, I'm going to start that whole sentence over. That was so stressful that I can't even talk right now. So I understand how difficult this seems, but it is possible, it is doable. It's difficult to decide which move is the best move, but keep looking for wrapped candies that can work in this lower area. And I think then you will find eventually a pathway to success. If this was helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, of course, please feel free to put them down. I wish the best of luck to Mind and Beauty and everybody else who's struggling on this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry, uh, that took me 17 tries. So it wasn't an interminably long process, but they were tense, each one, each one of those tries. Bye-bye.